Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm talking about Tesla's premium audio system in Model 3 and Model Y and everything you need to know about it. The reason I'm making this video is because before I got my Tesla, I was searching on YouTube what I wanted to know at the time about the audio system. And it seems like there's so many videos that really don't answer it all together. So what I wanna do is just put everything that you actually need to know about the system in just one video. First off, the car has 14 speakers, one subwoofer, and two amps and i think the questions i wanted to know at the time is just you know how good it sounds how good the subwoofer is and i'm just gonna answer and show you guys everything so let's talk about settings after driving a tesla for a year and a half i decided to go with this settings and i figured that putting bass above five will result in like distortion and sound and i believe that these settings are perfect for the Tesla premium audio system. Then for balance, of course, balance is all about where the sound is coming from. And I'll show later on. So I do recommend you to wear headphones so you can actually hear the difference when I'm gonna be changing the sound around the car. And I personally had questions about immersive sound, what it does, and I can answer it to you. So the only thing that it does, it enables these two speakers up here, A-pillar speakers. The difference between standard and high is standard, they are like 50% loud and high, they're at maximum volume. So immersive sound only influences these two speakers. Once you turn it off, there's nothing coming out of them. Let's talk about placement of the speakers. So like I said, two speakers on A-pillars. Another two little ones, right at the beginning of the door then two bigger ones i think they're the biggest ones in the cabin and they are right by your foot in the door then there's three speakers in the dash two on the sides one in the middle and by the speaker in the middle there is fourth i would say speaker slash tweeter it's like a little one they're like together and if i find a picture i'm probably inserting it right now there are also four speakers in the back two in each passenger's door and two by the trunk right there. In Model Y, they're located a little bit further, but they're pretty much at the same placement and they're the same size as the ones in the front. And what I would say is that I had a 2020 Tesla before, this is 2021 Model 3. First thing I noticed is that how much louder this system compared to 2020. So I would say whichever Tesla you're getting now is might have even better audio. Then there's also a subwoofer in the back that's located on the right side and it's combined with an amp and i believe there is one amp in the front as well but it's not visible but the amp in the back is right by the subwoofer let's get to tests i will play just a few tracks and from my perspective i will tell you that tesla really did an amazing job whichever track you're gonna play it's gonna sound amazing if you want to play it loud i would say it's very loud like when i tell you very loud you have to actually like scream inside the cabin just to hear somebody if you're trying to talk to somebody when music is blasting all the way first off i'll place my phone right by the passenger head is pretty much where you would be located if you would be sitting here and i would say the sound quality is just as good if you're here or here also i want to mention that my previous tesla which was 2020 model 3 long range overdrive dry with premium audio system when you would play music and if you would sit in the back, the back speakers were really not good. And in 2021, they sound way better, but it's definitely not as loud as if you would sit in the front seat. Tesla definitely improved sound system between 2020 and 2021. And I mentioned it in one of my videos before, but right now we actually get I could barely hear myself and you can hear just how good the sound system is with vocals especially at the end you can hear the reverb going on and it's just doing an amazing job all right so the next song is going to be bass heavy song I will go outside just to film how subwoofer goes show you guys how actually loud the car from the outside even when all the windows are up and how subwoofer really 
just shakes the whole car pretty much. And let's just blast it. Just the whole car shakes. All right, you guys just heard it and saw it with your eyes. It's just insane. Like the whole car shakes and if you roll the windows down, it's ridiculously loud. Just be careful, your hearing is very important. So I would not recommend to listen to it at full volume for a very long time. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you next one. Bye.